Fixed Point Foundation is a Christian organization, and unashamedly so, though we do seek to engage in the realm of ideas. Now, some would wonder why we would sponsor a debate like this. I would like to thank Larry Taunton and the Fixed Point Foundation for their outstanding hospitality. <laughs> As all of you know, atheism today is not simply the private doctrine of a handful of individuals, it's become a social movement. And as a social movement, it has been advanced chiefly by the scientific community, certainly in the United States, but to a large extent in Europe too. I'm sorry, the area of agreement has just contracted, sir. For you to say of Nazism that it was the implementation of the work of Charles Darwin is a filthy slander, undeserving of you, and an insult to this audience. If it's a atheistic regime, then how come that in the first chapter of Mein Kampf, Hitler says he's doing God's work and executing God's will in destroying the Jewish people? How come the Fuhrer oath that every officer of the party in the army had to take, making Hitler into a minor god, begins, I swear in the name of Almighty God, my loyalty to the Fuhrer? How come that on the belt buckle of every Nazi soldier it says, Gott mit uns, God on our side? How come that the first treaty made by the National Socialist Dictatorship, the very first, is with the Vatican, ex exchanging political control of Germany for Catholic control of German education? How come that the church has celebrated the birthday of the Fuhrer every day, every year, I mean, on that day, until democracy put an end to this filthy, quasi-religious, superstitious, barbarous, reactionary system? Again, this is not a difference of emphasis between us to suggest that there's something fascistic about me and my beliefs is something I won't hear said and you shouldn't believe. Thank you. Christopher, your first question, uh, what are the weaknesses of Pascal's wager? Dr. Belinsky, uh, what are the strengths of Pascal's wager? Very good. Uh, Christopher Hitchens, would you agree with the following statement made by Sam Harris, and I quote, some propositions are so dangerous that it may even be ethical to kill people for believing them. Christopher Hitchens, uh, what specific teachings of Jesus do you believe to be evil or poisonous? Would you prefer a secular or an Islamic Europe? <laughs> what, my dear sir, makes you think it's a choice right now? large portions of Europe are already Islamic. I mean, how would I adjust the European continent? I have no opinion. <clears throat> would Europe be better religious but Islamic or without God? Is it, I think, the question, is it not? And I, I miniaturized it for myself. I, I invite you to take another run at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm the... <laughs> <laughs> I, in fact, In, in fact, I strongly, a, in fact a, I strongly advise it, and you can have it out of my time. This is secular. The, the, trouble, the trouble is the question has no provocative urgency for me. It has none whatsoever. I mean, it's like asking which I would prefer to be dressed in gold or in silver. It's not a living issue. What is one to make of the claim, or rather, what do you make of the claim that science and Christianity are in opposition to one another? What am I to make of the claim that science and Christianity are in opposition to one another? I would need to hear the claim reticulated properly. To claim a point of opposition in general seems to me unhelpful. 